I just did a video about this base. Very cool. Um, vintage Aria. Uh, I do not know what year it is. Yeah, I couldn't figure it out. Early 70s. But anyway, so check that out. Subscribe, do all that jazz. Uh, then I thought, you know what? I wanted to make a quick video on the flat wound strings because I... Uh, decades of playing, I almost never, I have played flat wands once or twice, I've never strung up one of my basses with flat wands, but I thought that with this bass, short scale, the years that these were popular, late 60s, early 70s, I thought flat wands would be appropriate. I like them. They are totally different. Uh, they almost have like an upright bass, uh, fretless bass kind of a vibe to them because they're very smooth, of course. You can still hear the individual frets, but it doesn't quite have that much fret rattle that round wound strings would have. only downside is, um, and I don't know if it's like the setting on my amp or what, but it, uh, lots and lots of overtones, um, lots of like harmonic overtones. So I'm trying to mute a string with my thumb and almost anywhere that I put it, I start getting... Okay, so I'm putting my thumb somewhere, you know, one, two, three, like five or six inches from the bridge. So five or six inches from the bridge is around like the three, four, five fret area, because of course, perfectly symmetrical on either side, as far as the physics of uh, harmonics, natural harmonics go. So if I play the harmonic at the fifth fret and slowly move my finger to the fourth, the third, even the second, and more close, to, even towards the first, you'll hear all of these harmonics. So that's the fifth. first fret you get a thud in a really high like like chirp of a harmonic so really anywhere I put my thumb if I'm playing with any kind of volume this is a harmonic that starts sort of welling up from you know the deep uh, it's a little annoying I don't know if that's a thing for these uh, flat wound strings, but uh, perhaps that's why a lot of players stuck a little piece of foam under the strings. So you know what? I'm going to try that and make another video. So subscribe and like and comment and check back and I will be posting a video with a little foam piece under there. So. Stay tuned.